That's not the same size. Why is this one so much bigger? That's not, that's not fair. Flashback. I mean, dude, it's like, I, I've seen the size of your guys' ice cream scoops. They're like massive, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Hi, Joel Hanson here. Hey, guys, the real Joel is here. I'm here with my little cousin, Mr. Harry. Say hi, Harry. Hello. And, and today, uh, we're about to go get something sweet. Yes, we both like sweets. Do you like ice cream? Yeah, I love it. Today we're in Walnut Creek, California, basically San Francisco, about to do the most famous man versus food food challenge in the area, the only, one of the only few food challenges in the area, but this appeared on Man Vs. Food, the original series with Adam Richman. We're outside the old San Francisco Creamery. So it's an ice cream shop, been here for about 20-ish years, and they offer the kitchen sink challenge. So Adam Richman did complete this challenge in about 50 minutes. Um, they used to have a 60 minute time limit, now the time limit is down to 30. So we're gonna have 30 minutes to eat what is eight absolutely massive scoops of ice cream. We then have eight toppings. I do get to pick the flavors, I get to pick the toppings. And then you have obligatory whipped cream, peanuts, cherries, and maybe sprinkles or something like that. So we'll get you the exact details momentarily. Here's my good friend, Mr. Kyle. Woo! He's uh, here for support, not gonna do the challenge, but guys, so like I said, this challenge has been around for years, super, super famous, man vs. food. I want to do something different. I don't think anybody's ever tried to double it. I might try to double it. That being said, this is an absurd amount of ice cream. Like, it is pounds and pounds of ice cream. If I doubled this, it will be, I don't even know. Like, it's basically a gallon. So we look at like almost two gallons of ice cream. Um, anyway, don't know if I'm gonna get double it, but we'll head over, let's have fun with these foods, see if they even let me double it. For the prizes, you get a free meal, the free $75 Sunday, yes, it's $75 challenge. And free ice cream for a year, yes, free ice cream for a year. So if I double it, maybe I'll get free ice cream for two years, I don't really know. But not that I'm in the area, I'll ever be able to use it anyway. But uh, yeah, so with that, let's head over to some of these food, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome on thanks sponsor to today's video being CyberGhost VPN. So a virtual private network or a VPN helps protect your data by hiding your IP address and encrypting everything you do. This is especially important when you're using the public Wi-Fi networks, like I am here today in this hotel, and especially with all the private important data we actually keep on our phones, you know, passwords, credit card info, et cetera. I was recently actually in Europe and using the VPN, I was actually able to save a lot on flights and rental cars all by changing my geography, my location. You can also access the true potential of kind of your streaming apps like Disney Plus, you know, uh, Netflix, etc. Different regions and of 40 different streaming services. Yes, there are that many today. It's crazy. Additionally, CyberGhost VPN, they don't collect your data or they don't share it. You are seriously completely anonymous. Even CyberGhost doesn't even know what you're doing. Um, it's available on all operating systems and a single subscription actually covers up to seven devices. So you can share it with your family, your friends, but you don't just have to take my word for it. They have a five-star review on Trustpilot with over 14,000 reviews and over 38 million users. That's crazy, crazy even to think about. And now this is actually a great time to get CyberGhost for yourself. It's not only will you get 84% off, but you will also get four months free. And if you don't like it, there's a 45 day money back guarantee. It's a limited time offer though. So click the link down below, protect yourself and your data today. All right, so here we are with one of the challenges they're making the second round. Yes, so I'm gonna be the first person to try to attempt to double this challenge. So this challenge has been around um, for a number of years. It was originally on the Man vs. Food show. Adam Richman did beat this in 47 minutes. The time limit used to be one hour. Now it is down to uh, 30 minutes. So that's about that. I got ube, coconut, caramel, um, Oreo, all kinds of good stuff, lots of toppings. I'm super pumped. Um, so yeah, you do gotta eat with a spoon. I have a nice, large, sizable spoon here. So like I said, we are going to have 30 minutes, 3-0 um, per challenge. So this is the first one, and then the second one comes, we'll you know, give its own 30 minutes. 
Uh, but pretty much that's about it. So I am ready to get started. Good if I get going? All right, everybody. So how about we get, this is, this is actually huge, huge giant scoops. Um, I don't really know where to start. This is kind of hard to navigate. So let's get started. We'll save the count of, uh, how about three, two, one, let's go. I do. Wow. That is rich. Mm. They make all the ice creams here. Wow. Real whipped cream too. Mm. Caramel sprinkles. Wow guys, that's good. Ooh, the ube is really nice. I'll say that you can tell this is real ice cream. Holding its form. Definitely not calorie free either. I got some, some pistachio. That has a strong flavor. Mm. Birthday cake. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna like push this over. Ooh. Just put it right here. Okay, this, all right. That's not the same size. Why is this one so much bigger? That's not, that's not fair. All right, so somehow this one is substantially larger, but I don't know, I call BS. But anyway, we have 30 minutes to start that one too, so we'll see how that goes. Wow. And then, like I said, we got three bananas under this as well. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here at the San Francisco Creamery, the old San Francisco Creamery, here taking on their kitchen sink challenge. So like we said, a challenge I've wanted to do for years. It is on the Man vs. Food show, and I have known quite a few individuals to come and attempt this. So of course, again, like we said, we had 30 minutes to complete the $75 challenge. Eight large scoops of ice cream, eight toppings of our choice, plus obligatory peanuts, uh, whipped cream, cherries, and sprinkles. So mostly for my toppings uh, in this first one, I went with a huge variety. Not going for ease, but going for flavor preference. I had a white Oreo caramel, I had ube, we had pistachio, we had birthday cake, um, like everything you could ever imagine. And then we got the second one that came out, which, I mean, eh, I don't know, it looks, uh, looks a little different to me, but nonetheless, um, which mostly went with the ube, um, some coconuts, some birthday cake, a lot like simpler, um, well, arguably simpler. Basically, I just wanted to pick flavors right away just so they could get me that second one out there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. The, again, the way they were doing it is I had 30 minutes for the first one and then they wanted to stop that timer and then start a new 30 minute timer for the second one um, instead of just having a continual run duration, which I mean, hey, that was their rules. So I was happy to go along with that. Get through the first one, but the second one's a lot bigger. So as no one had ever attempted two, they, you know, kind of said like, hey, we'll give you one first and let us know what you think. So when they gave me the one, I said, yeah, no, that looks good. Let's, I'll do a second one as long as it looks exactly like this one. I looked at the staff and I said, will it look exactly like this one? And they said, yes. Um, let me know down below if you think the second one looks the same as the first one though. Um, regardless, I will say the flavors were absolutely delicious. This was very tasty ice cream. Uh, it was um, incredible, like it held its shape very well. Definitely a good fat content in it. The flavors were exceptional. The white Oreo caramel and the ube and the birthday cake were really, really delicious. So, I mean, it was good ice cream. Down the bananas. Ooh. Cold though. Real cold. This container makes it hard to navigate. Definitely. I 
don't know what flavor I'm eating, but it's delicious. And it's a white Oreo caramel. Ooh. Admittingly, I will say once I was kind of, you know, getting through this first one, I realized, you know, I really did not need the second one. Um, there was also three bananas in the bottom of the uh, container here that I forgot to mention earlier. Um, but like I said, these are huge scoops of ice cream and I don't know if you can tell how much ice cream I'm actually consuming. I mean, see how big those bites are? That is a huge full like soup ladle. A little messy. Anyway, I think this is one of the dumbest things I've ever attempted recently, so ultimately we have to tune on in, see what happens. Um, really, this was not smart, and I knew the likelihood of failure was absolutely incredibly high, um, really, of how big these things were getting into it. But like we said, legendary challenge, good to be in the San Francisco area. Um, huge thanks to my friend Kyle for all the support. Um, he's a longtime follower of the channel definitely helped us out with this challenge and uh, huge thanks to everybody there that was watching and supporting so at that everyone let's get to the rest of the video and ultimately let us see what happens just gotta finish these cherries and then the first one's done clean up this tray a bit oh it's a little melty Ooh, that was cold though, I'll tell you that much. I think we're done that first one. Uh, what's the time on that approximately? 6.05. Probably about 6.05-ish. I'll clarify, but, so that was that. Man, I'm cold. That was a lot of ice cream, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. They weren't playing. Thank you, sir. Although, guys, now somehow we have this one, which is even bigger. I don't know how they can make it bigger, but it, somehow they made the same eight scoops a lot bigger. Woo. So, we're gonna have to deck onto the next one. Um, I'll like start in just a, I guess I'll start in just a second. So in an hour for the two, right? So an hour for the two, so we got what? You're, you're gonna restart 30 or is it just a continual hour? Okay. 30 per. 30 per. Pardon me? So you're just gonna add another? Yeah. Right. Okay, so then we'll. I'm okay for now. Who needs hot water? This uh, my battery might run out though. I'm gonna start it. So uh, I might give you to help me on my phone in a bit. But. Sure, sure. Anything, I got you. All right, so we might as well get started on this second one. I'm definitely cold, so we're gonna have 30 minutes for this one as well. But it is a lot larger, guys. I don't know why. Anyway, so uh, how about we get started? We'll say round two. Maybe at the count of, uh, oh, this is, this is gonna be, it's gonna be harder, it's a lot firmer. How about we say, uh, maybe at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's get rocking. Tasty though. Coconut. I think I'm going to regret this after. All 
I already regret this. It's cold, bro. I bet. Yes. I will share. Burr. Guys, it's cold. It's not a not a hundred degree day out. Thank you. Take it out. You can get rid of it. Thank you. Yeah. I gotta say, though, guys, the ice cream is fantastic. The coconut, the birthday cake, ube. That's what I got for this one. Yeah, one thing for sure, this one's a lot more solid. Cause this one they just made, put right on the table. The other one sat for a little bit. Ooh. Stomach cramps. I'm gonna need the time. Ooh. Tastes good though. The fact that I can still say that is a compliment to the ice cream. Okay, the cold is getting real. Wow. Woo. Firm ice cream. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting uh it's cold, I'm getting a good shiver going. That's for sure. Only coming up on five minutes. Holy guys, that is cold. Oh. Now it's cold. Really cold. And everybody here gets dinner and a show. Uh -huh. Ain't easy, everybody. I can't even say this was a better idea in theory because this at no point was this ever a better idea. Oh. Oh. Uh. How are we doing for time? Coming up on seven minutes. That's seven minutes in the second one, everybody. Oh. Stomach cramp. Is real. Woo! We're definitely trying, thank you. Yeah, this, uh, this eight scoop seems bigger, but we're getting through it, guys. Slowly, somehow, surely, I think. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh guys, hypothermia is real. This camera's probably gonna die, luckily. Got my phone. 
a lovely friend of the channel here to help us. So, oh my Lord, I need Jesus. It is Easter weekend. Thank you, God. Thank you. Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. I don't think I'll ever eat dessert again. If I can finish this. Whoa! So cold. Coming on about 11 minutes in, I believe. Woo! Woo! I don't know what's worse, that I got the cramp in my stomach or that I got a lot of pressure in my bottom end, put it that way. Woof! Either way, we got lots of things going on down, downstairs. Maybe not plenty of time till I catch hypothermia. Uh, everybody, don't try this. I'm undoing the belt. Uh, cold, guys. Uh. Gosh, the hardest thing right now. I'm trying not to. I'm, just, I'm kind of clenching. It guys, a lot of pressure down there. Holy crap! No pun intended. Get those cherries done for this last bite. Can I get some more hot water, please? Just like fill that one up. Quickly, please. <laughs> Is this good? Is this done? What, is, it, is it done? Yeah, it's done. Yeah. Oh. There you go, guys. I got, I got no words. Besides, I am cold. I got to use the bathroom. And that was delicious ice cream. So huge thanks to all the staff here. Thanks to everybody for the support. I appreciate you all. You guys rock. 
hot damn. That was a lot. That was a lot, guys. So, six minutes something on the first one, 17 inch on the second. Never done, never been done before, and I wouldn't recommend doing two of them, but glad we got to try this. One in the area. And I got no other, I'll talk to you guys later or something. Cool. So next to my buddy, don't do what I do. Stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Everyone, so I was able to go relieve my it sounds bad. <laughs> Everyone, so I no longer have that bottom end pressure, which is awesome. Um, now I can like focus a little bit. I was clenching, that's for sure. Um, so I actually will go in free ice cream for a year, arguably times two, which is kind of funny. A free ice cream Sunday a day times like, so I don't know, over like 700 Sundays. Um, yeah, meals for free. This is like 140 bucks for the ice cream. But yeah, that's about it, like I said. That was a heck of a challenge. That was a lot of ice cream, and uh, I'm freezing cold. But it is so much easier when you don't have to use the bathroom. I'll put it that way. So, anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Really cool spot here. Glad I got to do this man versus food challenge again. They're uh, very hard to come by, very famous. So I'm really glad to do one, and uh, one of the few challenges in the San Francisco area. So, yeah, that's about it. Now, again, that's a more sensible goodbye. Till next time, everybody. Like I said, really don't try this. Come try some of the ice cream. It was really, really good, but don't eat this much. Don't even eat one of these. It's just too much for one person. Share with your family. Till next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. So I'm just going to take this bit here, and how about we get started? We'll say the count of maybe, uh, let's see if we're ready. Are we good to go? Maybe? Maybe not? I think we're going to get started. I have my time running. Right all right, so how about we get started? I think we're okay. I don't know. Should I wait? <laughs> Is it okay if I get started? I can start with my timer? Okay. Hey, are you right? Joel Handsome here. Hey, guys. The real Joel is here. I'm here with my little cousin, Mr. Harry. Say hi, Harry. Okay. And, and today, uh, we're about to go get something sweet. Yes, we both like sweets. Do you like ice cream? Yeah, I love it. I like ice cream too. And so we're actually gonna to go to one of the few and definitely the most legendary food challenge in the San Francisco area at all. This challenge, which is called the Kitchen Sink at the old San Francisco Creamery, was actually on Man vs. Food, the original Man vs. Food with Adam Richmond. Now, back in the day when Adam Richmond did it, it was a 60 minute time limit. It is now a 30 minute time limit. Adam did complete it in 47 minutes. Barely, he had great difficulty with it. That being said, of course, we're going to go try and actually complete the challenge, and we're gonna have 30 minutes. If we successfully complete it, we will get the meal for free and a sweet t-shirt. Um, the ice cream is $70 otherwise. What it consists of is eight of their massive, 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 there you go, perfect, just like you got it. Massive scoops of ice cream, then you have to pick eight toppings, and, and then there's also three bananas, whipped cream, cherries, peanuts, those are all obligatory. Eight. Pieces of ice cream. That's right, eight very big scoops and eight toppings. So there's definitely no shortage of food, no shortage of ice cream. Um, I know quite a few people have beaten it. They get about an attempt or two a week, they said. But this challenge has been around since, I wanna say 2008 or something. So like this thing has been around for years and years and years. Not very many winners. In fact, the wall of fame is actually surprisingly small. Um, but that being said, we're gonna head on over, have some fun, eat some food. I'll get you all the details. I know they're gonna have lots of ice cream flavors and all that, etc., etc. So, uh, are you ready to get some ice cream? Yeah. So let's go get some ice cream. Let's go eat some food. Like we said, everybody, it's a limited time offer. So click the link down below and start protecting yourself today with CyberGhost VPN.